One of the many distinct stereotypes of high school is the nerd. The cliché includes such traits as shy, awkward, and of course, no social life. However, how much of this is actually true? Through exclusive interviews, we are given insight into the fascinating lives of the scholastic elite of our school. The nerds, if you will. Would you say you study for the pursuit of knowledge or for the glory of it? I study for the pursuit of knowledge. Glory most of the time. The knowledge is just the backdrop. Pursuit of knowledge, definitely. Although people may say otherwise, it's definitely pursuit of knowledge because it's, I don't know, it's just fun for me. It's definitely not for the glory, but uh, pursuit of knowledge, I guess some classes I do really try to learn because I want to be, of course, a doctor and I try to do that. But um, there are some classes that I don't really try for, but I don't necessarily do it for glory. How many hours of sleep do you get per night? Like two or three, probably. Wow. Are you sleep deprived? I'm very sleep deprived. Huh. Uh, I don't even sleep. Uh, maybe two or three hours at most. I see. S about six to seven hours, usually. Like four or five. So when I get home around, I guess, around four usually, and then I go to sleep, and I wake up at around eight, eight or so sometimes, uh, but sometimes I don't know, I'll always get to home at four, so, but I usually go to sleep and I go to sleep at eight, I wake up at eight rather, and then I pretty much do homework and just do the normal stuff and study, and then I usually finish at around two or so, two or so, and then um, depending if I have more work or not, for, because I also have classes online, and if I get through those, then I'll probably go to sleep some, some around then. What did you do when you got your first B? All right, that was uh, that was a pretty uh, it was a pretty intense moment in my life. Honestly, I ate a whole bucket of fried chicken. Did it make you feel better? Yes. That's good. <laughs> well, I went home and I uh, punched a hole in my wall, but uh, you know, nothing big. I had to patch it up, but it's all good. I have never gotten a B. If I ever got a B, I would most probably cry. B. I don't even know the word B. I've never heard it. Have you ever cheated? No. Never in your life? Well, like, of course there's a few homework assignments, but, like, I would never cheat on a test or a lab or something important. Mm -hmm. Honestly. On, um, yes, I have. Let's just put it this way. I haven't met someone who hasn't cheated. Can you answer the question directly? I did. I said uh, I haven't met anyone who hasn't cheated, so, um... Have you met yourself? Whatever you deduce from that, uh, well, I mean, since I am Cena and, uh, I am, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've met myself before, so, okay. uh, take from that what you will. I will. I mean, obviously, I don't need to cheat off anyone else, but, you know, stuff like that, you gotta cheat. I mean, who doesn't cheat? Have you ever tried to sabotage someone else's grade? Define sabotage. Um, manipulate other people so that you end up on top. I suppose, yes. Can you elaborate? Well, like, everybody does the little things to give them boosts, like in terms of HP. Like, some people do AP classes, like, online, or do dual enrollment classes without telling people, just to, like, have that mm -hmm. secret advantage. All the time. I mean, ne <laughs> never mind. Well, what do you mean by sabotage? Like, purposely make them get a lower grade? Yes. No. Have you ever thought about it? Yes, I have, yeah. <laughs> no, I have never considered sabotaging somebody else. Why not? I... <laughs> well, sometimes me and my fellow nerd buddies, we, um, we dress up in all black and we come to the school at night and we ransack like all the teachers' files and we, cha and we change all the grades so that like, we have higher grades than everybody and you know, that kind of helps us to get an advantage. Me, personally, more, but you know, okay. all my friends do. I think you're better than everyone else. No. No? That's good. Uh, at times, yes. I can be at what times? Uh, a lot of times. Just because um, I feel like people need to like open their eyes to the world, and once they do, they'll be on the same playing field. It's not that I'm smarter. It's just that um, I can see things better. Not because I have glasses, but, you know. No, not really. Like, as Mr. Perdomo always says, I'm not smarter than anybody else. I just try harder. I'm just so much intellectually brighter than everyone around me. It's it's not fair, I feel, sometimes. You have a social life? Yes, I do. I do have a social life. What things do you do for fun in your free time? Um, on the weekends, I go hang out with my friends. We Most of the time, I hang out with my friends. And do what?
I just do normal stuff. Uh, we just drive around, eat Chipotle, and pretty much it. What's the biggest misconception about you? Um, that I am always quiet, that I don't talk a lot. It's just in school that I don't talk a lot. When I'm outside of school, I never stop talking. That I spend all day studying, where most of the time it's spent procrastinating studying and then just cramming, like in a couple of hours. Well, I think a lot of people perceive that I'm a nerd because um, I take, I guess, classes that most sophomores don't usually take. But I'm actually, um, I'm a slacker, actually. I'm actually a really bad student. <laughs> Although people might say otherwise, I really don't work that hard, so. Do you ever just lie in your bed staring at the ceiling, wondering what you're doing with your life? No, I don't. I have my life set out. No, not really, because I'm most of the time spending it doing homework, so. I see. I really ponder it, you know, all the time. It's, it's really a, a tough life decision, but I think it'll be worth it. What's the point of doing all these AP classes? Like, is it really worth it? And what's your answer in the end? Yes. Because it's all about getting to that good college just so you could have that guaranteed good life. I see. Quotation marks. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of life? Um, meaning of life is to be successful, like get a good job, be successful, and have a happy life, I guess. I'm going to think okay. about that. I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> um, getting good grades. Um, I actually haven't found that yet, so I'll, I'll continue looking out for the meeting. Thank you so much, Sina. Yeah, no problem. Have a good day. All right, you too. Thanks so much for your help, Mark. No problem. We really appreciate it. So thank you, Yuri, for this wonderful interview. Thank you for having me. <laughs> BM white nerdy. Look at BM white nerdy.